and how see along with this you understand how to write an historical essay how to collect brainstorm points so today i am going to talk about that now with this example i'll talk the second part we'll talk about many other uh, facets of this uh, essay yeah so this is an essay which i uh, again okay which i uh, this is an essay which i wrote in 2019 uh, please take that essay uh, courage to accept so this is the essay courage to accept courage to accept and dedication to improve okay, dedication to improve are the two keys to success are the two keys to success. So, uh, courage to accept and dedication to improve are the two, uh, are uh, dedication to improve are the two keys to success. Is this kind of a philosophical essay, la? philosophical essay, uh, but uh, how do you write it through an historical perspective? Second method. Second method is what I'm going to talk about, uh, but along with this, how do I brainstorm and look at it? Okay, well, because for an essay, you have to brainstorm very well. Brainstorming points, how am I going to do? Please check it. And uh, this is world history. This is anthropology. This is philosophy. This is political science. This is everything converged together in a 10 page. And this is a book that I wrote. This book, I have written 200 pages. Okay, well, I need to write 300 more pages. Uh, when I uh, see, I have been, I have not been able to write for two, three years. I'd say two, three years since my result, I am not able to, uh, I am not able to touch that at all. Last time I touched was my result. All of that. After that, I am not able to write at all. Uh, see, look at this is how it is. Yeah, you cannot write. Writing is not that easy. You know, it takes a lot of mental effort to go into it. That is why I am here to help you for mains. Yeah, don't think that in the this you have to write like this. No, I am here to start with this engine. Okay, yeah. so we'll start with this. So how do you brainstorm? Nah? always uh, and this is an historical way of writing an essay. See, always have an essay and try to think about as in mains constituents. Okay, yeah, mains like we saw or different different parts. In this, if you see, there are two or three constituents. Look at this. Courage to accept. Very clearly, a sailor, you should look at the constituents. Because once you decide these are the constituents and you start writing, if you miss some constituent now, you will not be able to add into the later, later things. So first itself, that is why you spend time, see the constituents. Courage to accept, dedication to improve. Second, are the two keys to success. This is the third constituent. You know, see, I have to tell an essay. You can write whichever metaphor also you can write. You can write different. Uh, so I am using content also you can write. But I am using a historical timeline. Okay? So when I take points, you should be very careful enough to understand the question correctly. So I will make, you know, see, in the, in the last. So how do I write anyone writing mains also? Last, there will be rough sheet. So last page, la. There will be rough sheet after this uh, or, or 10 pages, uh, say last, last six pages will be rough sheet. They would have given in that you can clearly write okay, for the first 30, no, okay, 20 minutes. That day I said first 20 minutes, you have to brainstorm. So we'll go and uh, so courage to accept. See, how do I brainstorm now? Clearly have this in the last rough sheet. La, so courage, uh, what are the constant courage to? Uh, accept uh, dedication to improve second dedication to improve are the two keys to success then you are writing all the constituents should be there so i am going to use a timeline What is this historical timeline I'm going to use now? 
you can use it from any time that you want but it should be a sequence or essay historical based essay i am writing right there should be a sequence like for example where i started now along with this world history we'll finish today so you go back and read world history also today so i started with this uh, 40000 years and a little bit of anthropology will be there so another don't fall asleep so it will be interesting okay what is anthropology you can learn from this see 40000 years what kind of a problem did i face that is the that is that is what i will one problem here and how did i improve and that is what uh, succeeded for me so if you see uh, we did not or 40000 years we did not have a huge body or huge uh, there was see other anthropology little bit of anthropology there are other species who were alive at that time also okay other species were there uh, neanderthal was there uh, now recently denisovans 2019 prelims question denisovans also were there so other species if they are there we are here okay we are also here why they did not survive the concept why they did not survive but we are all here right so we are not in the sense you know like we don't have that huge body in the neanderthals if you see their hands vandu their one finger will be this this much if they go one and a half okay if they if they slap like this all the see it, this, their hands are huge but you look at our hands it's for precision you know it's for writing like this so we did not have that huge body we did not have you know uh, climate adaptation and all we did not have and uh, this is an essay i wrote other see is all on the i wrote it as a paragraph all this as a story i wrote if you are writing an essay na story based da this is an uh, rough sheet which i did in the last thing seriya so we did not have climate climate adaptations or cold adaptations but how did we so we accepted this fact that we we are a species with a small body and we are not that much adapted to cold but ana how did we make this up na we actually started coordinating cooperating you know what see and you don't have to go anywhere to read this world history ncert is there you know there is a new world ncert history book this is there in that we other point i am not see this i read and understood from so many different books and i am writing okay but ncert has this they have clearly mentioned this cooper and the point is that we usually think human beings are survived because of survival of the fittest we actually survived because we were able to coordinate and what is the first political organization that uh, evolved from human society family okay that is political organization family is a social organization isn't it political science no band that uh, clan and the next okay band small small band and the now syllabus la it is there small small band then tribe then chiefdom then state four things are there so when we see how did we do that is that by coordinating we are creating this and that is how we succeeded and survived so there were other species right you have see you don't uh, anthropology i knew so i wrote neanderthals if you are not sure of this also history when you are taking points generalistic also you can write we succeeded right we were we are living here but do you see any other species which is walking now no we are the only homo homo in that we are the species so this is the methodology if you see uh, this is adha solra historical timeline one one timeline i will fix next timeline is 10000 bc correct see one one clear timeline i'll uh, I'll, i'll i'll actually fix uh, here so next point is that here i have to talk about uh what and all or uh, in a sense what and all was a problem courage to accept means i have to accept the problem here what and all problem if you see band 
see the this is how i actually have to uh, connect people ask how do you how do you connect in sa sa la connection eppadi na last time i said antakshari like antakshari it should be see i i finished here we have cooperated and a band has come but ana band has come there will be a problem in that in that problem enna na see hunting in the forest you will lose a lot of people and you know see hunting in the forest is not that safe correct you will not have that many facilities in a forest to save yourself so abbe antakshari mari so what do you do to improve i actually have agriculture correct i agree uh, agriculture will be there so settled life will be there correct settled life will be there so when settled life is there see and uh, this is also see this is the book i write but actually the thing which i inspired me or from which i am writing vandu idu vandu nehru's have you seen this book nehru's uh, glimpses of world history have you seen this book no nehru has written three books you know okay anyone no no one nehru has written three books one is discovery of india one is glimpses of world history this is a set of letters he wrote to indira gandhi you know so from actually this is something which i got inspired by writing from that da i am writing okay va so hunting safe this and all he wrote from the jail it's a 1000 page 1000 1200 page book okay va? one of my favorite book so in a sense historically can we write an essay na i understood from that book definitely it is no see when the examiner will read and you li really like it but ana don't write too much of because see in, in between i'll talk about philosophy idella say i started writing inside i should have kept restricted to civil servants your civil servant how historically they have managed our country philosophy la when i go na it becomes out of civil service you know see but ana i think we abbe world history you read now you come to this point agriculture settled there when settled life is there i can be safe right you know see one one thing i am succeeding i am here there is a band hunting see hunting is not safe sorry hunting is not safe so i i go for agriculture a settled life and then i become a safe person the next timeline so next i will go for the other thread so it it's like a connection on the essay la you have to make like an antakshari so i end it here i say that settled life next because of settled life what problem comes so then the point is that next is 3000 bc because of settled life you get what is called as inequality see when there is a surplus production somebody will take that surplus and you will be left with nothing so you will have inequality in that that is what in anthropology syllabus la social uh, what is that uh, social inequality or social uh, inequality or, uh, or in sociology also it is there inequality when it comes how do i solve it so 3000 bc inequality has come how did i solve it means i solved it with indus valley civilization in that if you see there is a grain storage what is the meaning of that grain storage here who and all has they will be having the food but here if you have a grain storage a place where everyone can coordinate anyone who is not able to have food they can also have it la so this is kind of the first egalitarian society in the world this is an experiment which indian civilization has done and this is what is there in indian constitution as dpsp article 
inequality reduction is not a principle which we have driven from or gotten from anywhere very close no we have gotten it from indus valley civilization so when the question that we are talking about values that were in constitution how we derived values no? there is a question we ask la you write all these things indus valley lerndu we have gotten not only this secularism we have gotten it from there we have gotten how a society should be swachh bharat we have derived from indus valley civilization you know see you have to think if you oh, reading only going back reading history book indus valley civilization how am i going to help or how how is it going to help me in the exam you know exam point when you look at that itself when you read that itself this is pcm now so this is what is pcm when i speak about that you should think then and there not uh, two years after you get this idea so now egalitarian so we have uh, created what is called as the first civilization in the world egalitarian civilization in the world <clears throat> Yeah, egalitarian civilization in the world. Uh, so next, so then thousand BC. So after Indus Valley civil, see history, update history. After Indus Valley civilization, what comes? You think? Vedic age. Okay, wow. So I said Antakshri. Here we have grain. Okay, wow. But the point is that the grain was not sufficient. that is the cause of destruction or if you see indus valley civilization did not have that water facility for a very long time the indus dried down that is why people started walking inside india and moving out so it's a problem so it's a problem here grain is there it's a problem here how do i solve that how do i solve that vedic age la iron implement started i started clearing the gangetic plain i started creating mahajanapadas i la sorry v v so we started creating mahajanapadas which you are an principle or 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 a or a republic like things you will have you will have all these governance things in in that la so you will have then the point is that again next timeline la historically then what happens so 1000 and this timeline is something which i am picking and how do i how am i picking na just history chapter i am picking one one history chapter i am picking so next chapter will be next chapter is after vedic age after vedic age jainism buddhism okay yeah. so iron age comes gangetic plain comes mahajanapadas we have started to build now there is one problem in 500 bc the problem is struggle for is it the struggle for power exactly caste system history la in that last book of rigveda la they add this class of varnas last book la they add so that book actually comes around 1000 bc da so all the problems of so see when you have enough you will start competing for power that is the point so when the caste system comes you have to solve it now see we accepted the fact that there is a caste system but we wanted to solve it we strived for that that is what is called as buddha or jaina here what i did in the answer you know in the answer la i started see buddha you know one fact right buddha um, or uh, uh, very near to buddha will be socrates plato aristotle okay they will be in a sequence da in china there will be a person called as confucius actually all of them will be in a sequence confucius buddha jaina then socrates then plato then aristotle i actually wrote it down here <laughs> see this is where i think i went wrong in terms of a book i can write in my book i write this i talk about how and it's a world history la nehru talks about this 
how this whole civil see human civilized in anthropology there is a there is a uh, there is a uh, thinker saying that psychic unity of mind that is everyone's mind is same isn't it uh, taylor in the, in the side okay. in the sense that what i was trying to say was other i started connecting him idella mistakes okay. but ana see but this is a true fact right jaina comes and then so if you see on the value system which we spoke about evolution of value system socrates i spoke about virtue ethics i spoke about where did virtue ethics come from can we not say confucius also says the same thing you have to be good to your family good to your society buddha says the same thing from that can i say that yes plato and socrates took that See, I extrapolated and wrote like that. See, it's a it's a philosophy and it's a connection. Other soldier, it's a connection. Let now this philosophy goes to Greece. Socrates, Aristotle, uh, sorry, Plato, Aristotle. You know who was the student of Aristotle? Alexander. He comes to India. He brings back that the same philosophy in terms of Gandhara. we assimilated it yeah it was such a thing then the point is that but leave that but historically how do you take points now caste system this we actually removed and we started having what is that chaitya and vihara okay yeah, correct huh? where you know people can of every birth can be a part of this you know that is the point see look at this timeline uh, in a sense look at this See, this is a time. His this is what I say by historical timeline based essay writing is that you have to have a timeline in the rough sheet when you are writing an essay. And the timeline can be ten years, fifty years. One, if a movie is like timeline, then so somebody takes from nineteen twelve to two thousand twelve. Somebody takes one day like from morning to night one movie. but they will have a sequence okay wow. so don't confuse here and here so we will have a timeline like this so then the point so next another okay next okay uh, so after this what can be uh, what can be the system now what after this what i wrote was so as i said 500 bc all these people come they give this values value system virtue ethics gs4 i included okay wow. they give this virtue ethics to the world this virtue ethics is taken by what person called as alexander so yeah so for example so 300 bc to 600 ad so this timeline i am fixing see exact points la you need not write world history yeah, you understand it today you go read it but timeline how i am fixing the you see check this here for example next and how i am connecting the look at it i will take it from here okay wow. i'll take antakshari mada i'll take it from here so uh, buddha jaina plato uh, plato and confucius also i you can here yeah, confucius confucius in china buddha in india socrates plato aristotle in greece if you see all will be similar da yeah and the point is that from here the problem arises in terms of invasions so from here the problem arises in terms of in invasion alexander invades okay va wow. actually persia you need not know but uh, you know see in this period la okay in this period la india la 300 to uh, maybe 100 ad uh, you know why kanishka came to india you know that See history, history, or the tribes in north or Central Asia, why they invaded or they came to India, fighting among themselves. Okay, but Anna, there is a reason why they came to India. History, actually, the Kandipa they would have said Delhi. Okay, definitely they would have said. Maybe you, but you, maybe you, you are not understanding the question. first see indo greek 
uh, then sarkas nu nenikira then uh, this kanishka fellow so you kanishka king okay kusha <laughs> see <laughs> kanishka king but the point is that uh, invasions da here yeah, they come inside uh, and uh, why they come is that if you uh, if you happen to see uh, china will be like this la china is like this okay va here so many tribes will be there ah uh, the silk route pakkathla if you see so many tribes will be there the modern day mongolia so many tribes and uh, if you see tribe 1 tribe 2 like this so india will be somewhere here okay va so like this they will be there the prob point is that till that point till that point uh, everything is okay china la these fellows used to come hit in mongolia la they will come inside and start hitting china uh, the point is that what happened is that han see you don't have to write it but adam idu vandu i i wrote it adanalu solren avladam han dynasty ni there will come a point han dynasty han dynasty when they started this is the point they start building this great wall of china so when they built this in the wall these tribes could not come to this place so this tribe hit this tribe this tribe hit this tribe and automatically they came to india no this is the concept of why they came to india and one more information is that bureaucracy la bureaucracy that day i said dandi march la uh, bureaucracy is very much connected to salt where that starts na in this place this is the first time first time in the world a merit based examination is conducted in the wall in the in the han dynasty or the chinese han dynasty 200 uh, 200 ad la okay they con- uh, sorry 200 bc la they have this concept of bureaucracy merit based selection not kinship based selection okay so in the point enna na see idu vandu you don't have to write i am just telling you for history in the, when it starts like this you have to come here and that is why indo greek uh, shakas kushans everyone start slowly if you see one one tribe da there will be one one tribe uh, modern day afghanistan ku top central asia they will be like this so if you hit like this cascading effect da so they come inside and this is the point of invasion la so what the point is that alexander and the tribes in uh, china okay tribes in china so they have all these things so in the sense that when you have all these things you have to make a change so what i did was i built this great wall of china also i assimilated all of the kings if you see indo greek um uh, indo greek kushans everyone who have come from outside has been part of india they will become india they will have what is called as the gandhara art la gandhara art is not just a symbol of id no that is why upsc la they are gandhara art four times they are asking that is the symbol of assimilation of the world into india india no other country did this okay no other country see they built this wall china they stopped the invasion but ana india was the only country you know see wherever you want that is what is called as vasudeva kudumbakam wherever you are if you come to india you become an indian kushan indian uh, indo greek then they became indian you know so see that is the point of gandhara so then what then uh, uh, so so well okay so then the next so ibdiye oru 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 sorry uh, so next enna na so like this Uh, the next point where i uh, this is 300 bc 600 ad okay so from 600 ad this is where your history world history starts okay world history syllabus starts 600 ad to 1500 ad this is what is called as in uh, history of uh, actually here gandhara art okay i wrote one more thing okay gandhara art jesus christ prophet moment 
in order to uh, you know see actually jesus christ or uh, prophet muhammad all of their teaching says universal peace okay all of them wanted this uh, war to stop and to become an unified nation uh, now comes this see are you na bartle history see on a world history it is necessary for your understanding ana puridha na bartle paste irukken see world history historical timeline based essay i can just say historically write it na i am just telling you how do you do that you have to uh, see connect if you are writing like this na this has to be connected here yeah this has to be connected here so the next point so after the 600 ad in uh, european uh, time it is called as the dark age here from this you can understand secularism as well i will tell you what is the difference of so that is the question that i asked what is the difference of western style of secularism and indian style of secularism starts from here so from here see assimilation everything happened uh, prophet mohammed christ and all comes but as a result of which the religion takes over it's called as the dark ages in europe the yeah, dark ages in europe starts and uh, this is the total control and this is where total control of europe goes into the hands of church okay but ana you should not write abdi secularism like see you should say state and state was overtaken by religion also for your understanding i am saying europe like what happened in you know see you should abdi elthi okay so the point is that then the dark ages comes and the control goes to religion and we accepted this point we accepted this point we changed how we changed this is what comes in your world history as protestant movement martin luther king comes yeah this is what comes in your uh, uh, world is this is where everything starts protestant movement in sociology you can use it uh, i think political science like it is there martin luther king comes one more point you know why this movement becomes very important na this is where printing press starts gutenberg nu there is a printing and that is the first till here you were not printing books you had to copy books somebody had to write now you can print now the values of protesting you can write and print it and send it to anywhere that is how this movement became a very big thing that is how when you start protesting see when you start questioning that means you have start when faith is being questioned na that is the start of what is called as the scientific revolution this is what is the start of your uh, syllabus from renaissance uh, reformation reformation is this Yeah. so when you start questioning you start having scientific revolution geography la like quantitative revolution there is something uh, it starts here so where do you get all these things na so you have this movement uh, and this is where uh, the protestant movement start see now you have the scientific revolution it's a good thing but uh, the consequence of this so 500 oh, 1500 to 1850 ad these are timelines which i picked on my uh, basis of understanding of history okay yeah. so you have done this good work okay yeah. but as a result what is the consequence you know what is the bad thing happened isn't it exactly colonialism la these fellows invented scientific invention so what happens is that the world history okay world history okay yeah, in a sense that they invented that okay yeah, but ana they wanted uh, you know you to use all that in order for see they came to this place and the history la world history la uh, you have colonialism starting will be here okay yeah, starting is here because they come to this place and uh, they come to here the columbus there is a person correct columbus comes to india america 
and the point is that they find that this land actually belongs to this uh, you know tribal people are uh, irukanga okay they are not like you know uh, old or oh, sorry not like uh, the pant shirt wearing civilized people rather tribal people are there and uh, spain okay see in the history la you go and read spain and all come here okay they decimate north america the okay, decimation na if there are 100 people after this invasion 10 da were there 90 80% they decimated you know see and the decimation la uh, this is the point adanalad da each society will be different i will talk about this okay political science la why you have uh, in brazil chile uh, or uh, whatever uh, whatever other countries if you see they will have dictators pinch uh, pinchonato someone comes in chile or something why it comes there not in india india la dictator cannot come see how much ever enna vana they can do to what extent they can do they can do but not a dictator you know india is not a country where it will allow dictatorship because history is a historical particularism in anthropology historical particularism is that a country develops based on its history here when the invasion comes when you decimate everything you have only 10 people you make a or 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 one person 10 people are your slaves that's it you make a system like that that is why that is why if you see brazil oda elections did you see who won abhi verima recent ah who won right wing right wing left wing who won this time recently paathad illaya sollu name therla lula they he won he won from workers party there is one more party where on the right wing and his name is some um, something or okay va he represents the elites see if how the system see when you decimate you have one person elite you have 10 people working brazil oda politics if you see see ana idella idella puriyad illa enak vera paaya determinants of ethics madhi illa idu okay va this is world history pcm batch idu okay va but na vandu i am taking it as an essay so that i will complete world history acumen la world history when i talk about you should not feel alienated this and all is there in world history without this understanding will not come in the brazil la if you see there are two parties and the, this fellow's party i forgot the paarenga venna one is workers party that is what is has one now workers party represents this that is why anthropology la if you see brazil forest when this party comes they will burn it down last time problem was no lockdown was done they started burning the forest you know amazon forest if it goes up world will drown because many of the oxygen comes from this place so they started burning the forest uh, the tribes along they started chasing but this person has come now lula his his uh, uh, his name is uh, i think lula yeah lula uh, when he is he is a representative of workers party he has come he has stopped burning now the politics of a nation this is how it happens and it has a start in colonialism but idella elda vanda but solra in the sense colonialism and the point is that why uh, and the american revolution so when it comes to american revolution na see from this place protestantism adha church is strong so you start protesting you start having protestant religion that is what weber calls protestant ethics you have different types of ethics we saw la protestant ethics na it, it is an ethics where you start thinking about work today you have work is a religion 9 to 5 on the we have to work uh, we should not concentrate on any other thing in the self help book irukla self help book la morning you should wake up 5 am 5 am wake up 
you have to you have to make a table the atom see all these toppers who are asking you to make this table not their own idea the atomic habits nor book irukku and the atomic habits la they say that make a schedule tick pannu okay so that is there in atomic habits where did that come from it comes from this philosophy of protestant ethics when the question was on church you stop going to church if you start stop going to church you lose the another uh, standard days life but church ku poni na kaalaiyila you will go you have to pray uh, then there will be something then there will be mass then there will be walking many things will be there ipo church povasa protest and ethics vandirchu your every day is collapsed civil services la that is what is happening to you if you have gone for work na you will not feel this much stressed why you are stressed like this na you don't have a pat adha uh, pattern sorry pattern you don't have a pattern correct ah tomorrow what i have to read you do not know if you go to work na now tomorrow i have to go catch the train see boring oh boring illayo it will be good la or lunch break irko coffee break everything will be there people will appreciate you things like that good dress nalla podirkinga nalla irkinga neethu da super ah pandinga ji see we don't get that we think that these are all very small things you know we live for that only somebody to talk no adana unmaya illaya illaya unmaya illaya that is why you are getting stress that is not because you do not know this exam it is not because you cannot clear this exam it is not because you are scared please understand that it's not that we are so scared and people working are romba periya adha inda software la la poitaanga na nalla advice pannuvanga yenda epo paathal bayandite iruke amaidi okay amaidi the why reason is that we don't have a structured life that is what is given adanal da 5 ip ella topper paarenga 5 am club book book reading na 5 am club da periya vishayam la illa you create a pattern okay romba periya vishayam but ana that comes from this so what happens is that all these people who protested they start jumping to usa that is what is called as melting pot culture you can use it in the word only you should use it see you, is it useful in the history lesson world history is ana what i thought was i will teach world history along with this essay world history acumen la irukku okay va so but ana i cannot complete each and every small nuances if i complete na that will go for 30 class at least 20 classes okay yeah, so we have to know this to write an answer for american revolution when you write you should understand the fact that why is it different from the revolution or why is it different from india abina see these people went here they formed a they formed a group of other in the in the in the, in the countries they all will be in the eastern sea board la irvanga 13 colonies will be there okay va each of the colonies will be different based on the people who went here ipo uh, virginia have you seen virginia georgia the southern side okay virginia georgia their uh, slavery will be high northeast uh, for example new york uh washington it will not be high if you see why abina the people who have come here no they first went to northeast new york uh washington there they settled these are people who questioned the authority in europe and went there so they wanted a liberal society now what happens is that when you see that this is an opportunistic time so king driven people also came virginia is a company started by european kings virginia so virgin uh, cigarettes you know see it's a tobacco based is that is the state's name 
verging. So you come here, similar types like this. That is why you will have a po different politics in north, south. North, like you will have blue states, they will say. They will say liberal states. South, like you will have conservative states. Why? Because of the settlement. Yeah. So after this, what happens is what is an American revolution? So people come and settle here. And uh, the, re the point is that they are the people who have come from here. So what they wanted was, see, we ourselves will make law. Why are you making law? The point. No taxation without representation. Meaning is that, see, problem. No? Then the point is that American Revolution happened. So that you have to read. Okay. So this is the chronology of American Revolution. But Anna, now coming. Are you going in the okay? This is see one one thing happened. So after this will come. Uh, so they'll start here. Yeah, they'll start going here. They'll start going here. The point is that I'll come to this point. So colonialism. Uh, so after this colonialism, one more thing is slavery. Correct? So they will come to this place. See, when they look at this place, it's a place. And either one day you have you can think in terms of if you next, next to what you have to do, you have to go to Gochen Gliam. Why Gochen? See, world history, Gochen Gliam, Ebdina. Gochen Gliam, when you go, Karatana is Romana Raicha. No, five minutes, Murshil. See, full I will. See, this is how you read geography class, polity class. See, this exam PCM batch, mains batch, batch, governance class. Gov there is nothing called as governance class. There is polity. There is connection. All of them. You know? See, there is no other world history class. World history is not mains class. Because the point is that when you know world history, only you will know that why Britishers came to India. That is why they have this syllabus. Britishers, why they come to India now? They went this into this place. Here they started cultivating cotton, tobacco, sorry, tobacco, sugar cane law. Yeah? But the point is that when they started cultivating cotton, the cotton you cannot pick that easily. You know, cotton, have you seen? If you Pick it, you'll uh, it will start pricking. Cotton bothering on the cotton chedi. Have you not seen? See, normal the, when you it will be pricky. Just a the no, then you have to take out the seed and then put it. This work was not a feasible work for a British climate region. The people who are living here were not accustomed to all these things which are tropical based. Cotton is a tropical crop. Right? So what they did was they wanted people from this zone as workers. So they started taking people. So they started taking people. Okay. This is the origin of slavery. So, yeah. so the point is that and uh, the, the point is that after this, so colonialism, slavery happens. And then comes this, and this is the one I wrote. This is the one. Then comes this person called as, see, I, that day itself I told Abraham Lincoln, I really like. So Abraham Lincoln comes and abolishes slavery. You know, when Abraham Lincoln dies, year 1850. 1850 year. See, that is how I connected. Next, next is I can have to connect. He dies around 1865. So after he after that ends, so in the next year, 1850 to 1950. So this is India's colonialism. So the point is that 1850 he dies. There is one more person born very close to this. In the, in the 1850, 1865, he dies. He dies. One more person is born. 
வாங்க வாங்க அந்த அனதர் பர்சன் வந்து பிரசிடென்ட் இல்லைங்க நம்ம ஊருங்க காந்திங்க எயிட்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி நைன் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஒன் பர்சன் கோஸ் அனதர் பர்சன் கம்ஸ் யூனோ லீடர்ஸ் வில் பி ரீப்ளேஸ் பட் ஆனா தே வில் ஹேவ் தேர் ட்ரைட்ஸ் கரெக்ட் தானே இது இதுதான் கனெக்ஷன் இப்போ இது ஹீ டைஸ் த பாயிண்ட் இஸ் ஹீ ஷார்ட் டெட் the the point next point next is that British slavery see after after this 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 they 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 come here these fellows what they did is that after this, they start coming to India okay wow. they started having more uh, in a sense more in need of resource இப்போ they have this as I said scientific revolution they started going to different different places they also in ipo in the sense as i said they cannot pick cotton and the climate is not adapted to tropical either so they will not pick and they use slavery another methodology they will use which is called as automation that is first automation adha irukum paarenga and the cotton picking cotton gin so how to pick when you start picking with a automated thing you will need more la correct so you will need more from here how much you will get from here you have to search so in that search you come to a place called as india in that search because i have invented see it's an it is the economics when i have a uh, machine to remove cotton and the it will live waste for a few time la because no cotton is there so i need more then i will come here what they will do you know from here they will take the cotton and they will uh, get other precious things whatever they have stolen from here they will the, see world's capitalism is built on blood of slavery it's not that europe and america pre a great illa the point is that they got it from here they you know see the indian uh, history so how they came inside uh, what are the treacherous method they used and things like that they got hold of this and from this they started getting all the resources and when they come with the resources or stop they will stop here and the cotton they will take to idu but ana they will also use on the cotton cloth material precious thing to give to the leader of inge irukra tribes so they will give to the leader and they will kidnap so many people as slaves so in the oh, the auto lamp see adha abbe idu nenaikum bodhu see how it happened na adu eppadi irundhirukku nu nenaikum bodhu idha da irukku ipo auto when you take they will say la see sir na anga irundhu summa da varanum correct ah so when you come to this place inge rendu sumadhan irukku so what they will do they will put something here ipdi or trip puridila anga rendu konja trip in order to make their system efficient they will use this method drop something here they will pick slaves here and they will go to usa in the tri- slave triangle ne ncert la it will be there it's a slave triangle you will pick from here you will go here 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 and this is how they or this is how capitalism was built because this is how capitalism was built and this is the point or see india they come britishers come but the point is that they enslaved india but there came a person called as gandhi ji who actually liberated india so this is the essay which i wrote இதுதான் எஸ்ஏ நான் எழுதுனது கடைசியா எழுதுன எஸ்ஏ எனக்கே மனசே கேட்கல இந்த சென்ஸ் வந்து என்னது சாக்ரட்டிஸ் காந்தி எல்லாரையும் எழுதிட்டேன்னு என்னதான் உனக்கு வேணும் இதுக்கு மேல என்ன படிச்சு நான் எழுதணும் அந்த பேப்பர்ல வாட் இஸ் நெசசரி யூ டெல் மீ ஐ வில் ரைட் பட் அகெயின் இந்த மார்க் ஃபைவ் மார்க்ஸ் நினைக்கிறேன் லாஸ்ட் வந்து ஃபைவ் மார்க்ஸ் லைட் வேண்டது இட்ஸ் ஓகே பட் ஆனா சி அதான் தெர் வாஸ் அ கொஸ்டின் இந்த சென்ஸ் தெர் வாஸ் அ கொஸ்டின் தி ஆஸ்க் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் ஆஃப் uh do don't you feel the students he asked and said don't you feel the mari idu see this is the world history but if you see, if you see this world history if you uh, if you see this world history 
how many blood spilled how many how many times we have fallen how many things have made us miserable but still we had this you know still we had this dedication to improve always it will be there whatever happens see abraham lincoln gone na gandhi ji will come gandhi ji gone na ye abdul kalam will come you cannot remove any anything if you fail that means you will be replaced by a okay one more person if my friend actually said this um you know edo one see nee enna peri even at the something in the related to civil services related to civil services he asked for edo uh, one he wanted to te- wanted me to teach somewhere okay i said acumen batch irukku acumen batch irukku see iduve ennale i am not able to he was like enna nee peri even na unna na replace pandruven see abdul kalam abraham lincoln gandhi ji e replaced naala emma adrom nee replace pannike what i appo indilendu na enna kattunu na what i wanted to do as a correct thing i will keep on doing you know replace avo nu bayindho na we cannot do replace dana pannike correct dana idu parunga adanalada inda connection inda connection ku parunga abraham lincoln mudiyum then gandhi ji comes you know see this is what is my essay podo idukapra we'll take a break and next essay vandu uh, this essay uh, don't use it in the paper this is for world history this is for your understanding timeline in the essay when you write timeline should be like this clear up if you ask me to write today i would have written different essay i would have started from 1950 or this is how i should have written actually uh, dedicate success to adinada uh, ah uh, uh, accept courage to accept idu vandu fail vandu actually historical essay na how do you write it na i should have started from 1950 constitution from then what and all mistakes we did china kuda we had war we understood that we were not that strong then we strengthened our forces we did not have food then we had green revolution we did not have missiles then we had isro we did not have money we had a closed economy then we opened up see this is the essay i should have written you know see but ana this is something adu idukku da i said read paper continuously because if you stop reading paper you will go away from this exam you will start thinking in terms of what your world is this exam what your world is not this exam your world or this exam is paper whatever you read in paper that is what is this exam keep reading you will do very well so we'll take a break before okay for 10 minutes break idu save pannirlama